Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this physics tutorial series of the class 11 physics. I am following the NCERT physics book part 1. In this video, we will learn about the rules for arithmetic operations with significant figures. So if in a question you are given to find out some multiplication or division or addition or subtraction. So for those uh, arithmetic operations, you will be asked to find out the answer up to certain significant figures. So we will see the rules for arithmetic operations. So keep in mind that the final results should not have more significant figures than the original data on which you are performing the addition or subtraction or multiplication or division operation. So here we will see the rules for arithmetic operations. So in the first case we will see the multiplication or division. We will see first about this multiplication or division. So the rule is in case of multiplication or division the final results should retain as many significant figures as there is in the original number with the least significant figures. So the multiplication or division rule states that in case of multiplication or division, the final result should contain as many digits or figures, as many significant digits or figures as are there in the original number, okay? Among the original numbers on which we are doing the operation, in case of multiplication or division, this should contain the least significant figures, okay? Least significant figures or digits, we can say like that. So suppose we want to divide by the number 12.48 by suppose 6.0 okay this is a number these are the two numbers in the first number we have four significant figures in the denominator we have two significant figures so the results should contain only two significant figures so now if we divide what will have it is equal to so 6 if we divide it 2.08 the answer will be 2.08 but here we have three significant figures so we have to express in two significant figures because the denominator has the least number of significant figures that is equal to Two. So the answer should contain only two significant figures. So 2.0 here we have only two significant figures. In this way you have to express the result or express the answer. Now the answer is having the significant figures that is equal to the least significant figures among the operands. Suppose you are given that c that is the speed of light small c is equal to 3.00 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so this is the speed of light and you are asked to find out the distance that is traveled in one year that is one light year distance you have to find out suppose you are given that in one year you have 365.25 days okay this much of days you have so the in this much of days how much distance will be traveled by the light with a speed of this much we have to see both the numbers so in this number this is not significant number here we have three significant digits because after the decimal if we have zero values on the right hand side or on the at the ending side then they are the significant digits so this c have three significant digits okay this one year has these are there are five significant digits because they all are non-zero okay here we have five significant digits now we have to express the result in only three significant digits so if we want to find out now one light year distance okay therefore one it will be equal to the speed of light okay 3.00 into 10 to the power 8 okay into 365.25 okay this much of days and these days you have to convert into hours so it's one day has 24 hours because the speed is in meter per second so we have to express these days in second uh, in 365 days in one day we have 24 hours and in one hour we have 60 minutes and in one minute we have 60 seconds this much of distance it will travel in one year the light will travel in one year so here we'll have it is 3.00 into 10 to the power 8 and this portion we can find the value to be 3.1557 into 10 to the power 7 second okay if we express in seconds so here we'll get 9.5 4671 into 10 to the power 
15 this much of meter the light will travel in one year now this value we have to express in the minimum number of significant figures here we have three number of minimum significant figures so we have to express it so this 10 to the power 5 does not have any significant figure so we can write up to these three digits then we have to neglect this portion of this answer okay so we have to express it in 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 meter so this will be the answer as per the significant digits or significant figures now let us go to the second types of rules that is for addition or subtraction so in case of addition and subtraction the final results should retain as many decimal places as are there in the number with the least decimal places so let me write down here in case of addition and subtraction so the final result should retain as many decimal places as are there in the number with the least decimal places okay among the various numbers on which we are doing the addition or subtraction operation and among those numbers we have to see the number which has the least numbers or least digits uh, after the decimal places and up to that much of decimal places we have to write down the answer so let us consider one addition operation suppose 436 0.32 gram we have suppose this is one uh, one measured value of suppose mass then we have 227.2 this much of gram this is the second suppose measurement and in one another measurement we have 0 0.3 301 this much of gram suppose now we have to add these values okay so this least precise measurement here is this one second one because in this case you can see that up to only first decimal place after the decimal point we have only one digit okay it has the least precise measurement that is this measure value has the least preciseness so after addition we have to take up to that much of decimal places as this one so if we add this we will have this is one then two plus zero it is two three plus two plus three then we have this is eight okay and here we have a decimal point and here we'll have 663 so we have got up to three decimal places but here among this operation here we can see we have only up to first decimal place okay so we have to express the answer answer up to first decimal places so the answer will be or the result will be is equal to 663.8 up to the first decimal place we have to write down the answer so in the question or in the competitive examination you will be given with options like this so the given options will be suppose 663.0 okay first option second option is 663.821 third option will be 663.8210 and the fourth option suppose we have 663.8 okay so among these results after addition you will get this number so if you tick this one so this will be the wrong answer okay your correct answer will be this one because we have only one digit after the decimal place okay so in this way you have to address these problems okay this much for today thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel do not forget to share this video with your friends thank you